What is up and welcome back to episode 17 of the MLS career here with the Seattle Sounders. And we are in the summer transfer window. All of the summer transfers have been processed for the other teams in the league. And once this episode comes out, those transfers will be posted on the MLS career Twitter. And once again, if you're not following that, you can check that down in the description below. But as for our team, as for the Sounders, I'm looking at our squad here. We have a designated player spot available to us. We could bring in a big name player. But I just don't see where we're going to put one. I really, really don't. At least not at this moment after the season. Then we'll take a look at maybe bringing in a designated player. Because we're going to have a very difficult decision on our hands. But as things stand right now, I like the squad the way it is. And obviously if an injury creeps up on us before the transfer window closes, we can bring in another player then. But for right now, we're going to stick with what we've got. And we get things started today with the quarterfinal of the U.S. Open Cup. We'll be at home to take on D.C. United. Both teams are going to go with a little bit of a mixed bag between starters and reserves. But I'm really interested to get a look at that backup goalkeeper for D.C. United. I tell you what, that, that's got to be a special player right there coming out of their youth academy. And before you ask, no, I, I did not edit that player. Augustine Assman is a real youth player. For DC United. Uh, that, that is just how he popped up on their squad. Oh, Ariola is loose up the wing. No. Oh, Colton Maddox, good defending. And Ortiz, good defending. Okay. Couple of youth prospects coming. Oh, God. Colt. Oh, that was Castle. Good Lord. I got I got all the youth players on this side of the field. Not going to lie. I haven't played a game in FIFA in, in probably over a week. Oh, my God. I almost scored. Oh, we almost scored an own goal. That had nothing to do with me. For Ozzy, go through for Dane Castle. Dane Castle, oh, he barely got that touch in there. Go on, Dane. Put a ball in, Dane. Here comes Hendwala. What a good God. He cannot head a ball. That was awful. Oh, we're playing with fire. We just can't get this ball out of our half. Maybe Dane Castle can do something here. He's going to, oh, Dane Castle is able to do something here. Go on, Dane. I have no idea how he just pulled off that wizardry, but he did something very nice in there for Ocampo Chavez. Okay, it's been all DC in the first half, but Dane Castle, maybe one of the more senior members on this team at this point, at least the team we got out on the field right now, he's able to do something. And Ocampo Chavez, that may be one of the first goals he scored for me in this career. We're a season and a half in. That's a ball. That's a hell of a ball to Ortiz. And Hendwala Buana is sort of through. Here comes Hendwala Buana. Holding it. And while up. Oh, he waited too long to do something with it, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. Dane Castle is in. Sort of. He, he, he's working his way in. Dane, there's plenty of options. Buana. God, he can't head the ball. Buana sucks, man. Ortiz is able to ping that out to Buana. Buana, you, you, you literally suck at heading the ball. You were literally the worst header. Oh, my God. Trey Mew's big save. Well, I've seen enough out of Hendwala Buana to uh, last me a lifetime. We're done with that experiment. Joven Jones is in to secure the left side. There we go. Nicely done. Ocampo Chavez pings it off of Roldan. Oh, Roldan. What a touch. Christian Roldan just tanked his way through the whole team. It's 2-0 to Seattle. He just came on the field for Ozzy Alonso. Okay. Christian Roldan. Gives us a little bit of breathing room. And again, I, I don't really think we deserve it. We really have not played well in this game. Ariola. Oh, that's a good play by Ariola. Muse. Oh, what a save. Oh, it's on the line. Mena out of nowhere. What a play by Mena to save that off the line. Oh, my God. This team is just unbelievable sometimes. There's the final whistle. A clean sheet. And a win. In the U.S. Open Cup. Okay. I Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. It was a tough game. Our midfield was a little bit meh. But uh, we got it done. We got some big performances in there. Especially from Dane Castle. I, I, I wish I could find a spot for him in the starting 11. He started a lot of games for us last season. He, he shows he has that quality to him. So we are still waiting for these transfers to actually go through. Not sure what the holdup is, but... uh. Yeah, none of, none of them have actually gone through yet, but we move on. 
We have a match at Children's Mercy Park in Sporting Kansas City. I think it's been pretty well documented. We typically struggle here. We have kickoff here at Children's Mercy. Children's Mercy Park is probably one of the top stadiums I want to see in FIFA. Hopefully in the near future. I mean, I'd like to see them all, but Children's Mercy Park particularly is a really nice stadium. Morris. Ooh, through for Cissé. Go on, Cissé. You don't get to play very often. Have a game, son. Oh, God, that wasn't a good pass. Oh, it's back for Cissé. Maybe it is a good pass. Oh, Malia gets a hand to it and saves probably what would have been the first goal of the match. Here comes Danny Leva. Leva. Oh, good. Leva, are you good? What the hell was that? Oh, I don't like the look of this. You know what? Just clear that out, Yamar. Not particularly in the middle of the pitch. Don't like that. Capellini! Woo! Off the side netting. He's been very, very involved so far early in this one. Jordan Morris now in there. Morris across. Rui D. How did he score from that? He scores goals that he shouldn't score. How did he beat Melia to that ball? I just, I don't get it. Rui Diaz is just on a different planet this season. And what is... Almost certainly the Golden Boot winner this year scores another one. Oh, Cissé, you're so bad. You're so far out. Oh, Tadic just killed him as well. And there's an equalizer. Oh, this is why Cissé doesn't play. This is why I choose two other lower-rated players ahead of him consistently. This is, I think this might be his first game of the season. He's just not good. Rui Diaz, Cissé, go up the wing. Do the one thing that you're actually good at, which is getting forward. I don't think this dude's actually a right back. I think he act... He can't even cross the ball right! What is... He's useless! Yeah, I'm over it. Cissé, he's gone. I, 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 I actually might sell him in this transfer window. I don't actually have a use for him at this point. Oh, Polito. Oh, Polito. I know he's looking for a cross. He's got it. And there's the go-ahead goal from Keppellini. Damn it, man. How do we struggle so much against Sporting Kansas City? It just... It just doesn't compute. They haven't even played well, but they're winning this game. Can you make it up the wing? I think Jordan's going to be able to get around the outside here. Jordan. Oh, he's just so much faster than everybody. Keep going, Jordan. Get a ball in. It's there. It's to Leva. Leva scores. What a goal by Danny Leva. The full volley. The volley? The full volley? I believe that's that's a volley. I, I think. The technique on the finish. Damn, Danny. Okay. Well, there's the final whistle. We scratch out a point right at the death. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Like I said, we always struggle, especially on the road against Sporting Kansas City. A little bit disappointed we weren't able to win that game, but in the end, with the way things played out, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take a point. So we go from playing fourth place Sporting Kansas City to now third place Minnesota. And right now, we are second place Seattle Sounders because San Jose, yes, the Fighting Wandos, are currently sitting atop the Western Conference. They went from all-time bad last season, winning one game, to now first place in the Western Conference. To be fair, whoever wins this game leapfrogs them back into first, but still, we got to show them some respect. They're sitting in first place. Let's throw a ball in here. Jordan Morris. In there for Roldan. Roldan, nice move there. In for Rui Diaz. Oh, he gets the turn, but the shot is right at Tyler Miller. That's unfortunate because he had an open lane, and he hit it right at the goalkeeper. Prezzertino, you going to gonna make a move here? No, we'll, we'll force you to go up the wing then. Go on, Prezzertino. Oh, Morris is open. Oh, Morris made the Tyler Miller. What a save. Oh, that's unfortunate. I actually feel bad for Tyler Miller. He made a worldly of a save on Jordan Morris. But it just fell right back to him. Ah, yeah, Tyler Miller, welcome to FIFA, bro. That's unfortunate for you. But Jordan Morris gets us on the board 30 minutes in. one nothing to Seattle. Gets it to Rui Diaz. Rui Diaz back through for Jordan Morris. Here comes Morris. Opara's got no shot at him. Morris, pull it back in there. Beautiful stuff, Danny Leva. Leva in the second half of the season. I feel like he's going to have a big, big impact on this team. I don't know what it is, but he's already scored twice today. I just like the way he plays, and he's really, really looking good this year. Look at that strip of sunlight. Minnesota is exploiting the sunlight mechanics on the game. They're just playing in that little strip over there. I cannot see who has the ball. Hold on. 
for Prezrachino. Back for Roldan. Through for Rui Diaz. And you know he's going to put it away. That passing was ridiculous. It's 3-0 to Seattle. Rui Diaz is on the board. Oh, my. Right, corner here for us. Rolled on on corner duty with Nico now off the pitch. Puts the ball back in, Jordan! Whoa, Jordan Morris! God, physically he's just a tank. And it's scary because he's faster than everybody else too. He's just, he's just so stopping him. Um, knew who you just get? Knew who? Knew who? You owe Stefan Fry an apology. You just wasted the clean sheet. He just gave the ball back needlessly. I knew who, man. Defensively, absolutely solid. Wouldn't have a, wouldn't want another left back in the league other than knew who. But he's passing sometimes. What the hell was that? Redenson in there for Dylan. Good layoff there. Dylan Leva. Roof of the net. Danny Leva. I'm telling you, we have a future star on our hands. Oh, Ja'Cory Hayes. Hayes. Oh, that's a good ball. Amar tried to cut the passing lanes. He just couldn't. This game was just opened up. The floodgates are open at this point. It's 5-2. Well, there's the final whistle. That, that was a hell of a game. Minnesota waited too long to turn it on. Or maybe we just kind of went on into cruise control towards the end. I'm not really sure. But 5-2 is the final score. We tend to put a lot of goals on Minnesota. Were you nervous about not scoring in the first half? I'm pretty sure that we did. And Brad Evans looks just as fed up as I do with these dumbass questions. So unfortunately, we're going to have to cut this one a little bit short today. I wanted to play four games, but because I had to do the transfers before recording this episode, I, I've kind of run out of time. I want to edit this and get it out for tomorrow. So we're going to end it there. We'll start off next time with a game against Toronto, who are, I believe, let me double check this. Oh, they're not in last place. They're, they're, they're tied for last with Montreal, but they're, they're not quite in last. But uh, there's a look at the Eastern Conference. Columbus, I think they were in first at the end of last episode. So they're, they're, they're starting to put a little bit of distance between them and NYCFC. In the West, we have retaken that top spot from San Jose, who have now played the same number of games as us. Minnesota still have one in hand, so they could jump back up into the mix as well. And down at the bottom, well, you'll love to see it. It's, it's, it's still Portland. But that is going to do it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you when we come back for some more MLS career with the Seattle Sounders. See ya.